Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the first thing you need to do is head over to the link in the description and we're going to be downloading CLR Browser Source Plugin. Now here you pick either 32-bit or 64-bit. In addition to that, you need to make sure you've updated your MS Visuals and you also need to make sure you've upgraded, if not already, your .NET installation to 4.5. Now they have download links here for MS Visual and they also have download links here for .NET installation. So the way you find out what bit your computer is, come to this PC or my computer, right click it and select properties and as you'll see right here it says system type 64 bit operating system. So whatever is yours said you would either click 64 or 32. As you can see it will begin to download, it is a very quick download. While it downloads, we need to head over to this PC, the C drive, and now we need to look for OBS. Some people it's going to be in program files, for some people it's going to be program files x86. For those that have external hard drive, of course it will be there. So for me, it's in x86, and as you'll see it says OBS Studio right here. We're going to head over to OBS plugins, 64-bit or 32-bit, I'm on 64, and now we need to wait for the download to be completed. Okay, so it's done, and this is what you'll be presented with. Just click the folder here, the CLR host plugin, and now these three is what we're going to be dragging in. So that folder we just opened up while it was waiting to download, we're going to drag and drop them right here. So just drag, drop. Now I've already got them, so as you can see it's going to come up with this, I can just skip them. But that is what you're going to be doing. Now we need to head over to OBS. Now last video I showed you how to set up a donation alert. For those that want to know how to do that, you can check it out in the description. It's also for follow alerts, subscription alerts, literally every alert right there. So now we need to press this plus button and we need to add a browser source. For some people it might say CLR browser source, so select that. And now you can call this source whatever you want to. So this is called a donation goal of course. And this is what you'll be presented with. Now you need to head over to your browser and come to Streamlabs. A link to it will be in the description. And a good thing about this, you don't even need to actually make an account. You can just connect it with your Twitch account. So from here, we need to head over to Donation Goal. And as you'll see, there's a warning here. You do not currently have a donation goal. Click here to set one. So select this, and now you can call the title. So of course, uh, Donation Goal. The goal amount, 100, maybe. Uh, starting amount, you can start it at zero and you can end it whenever you want to. So you can select start donation goal. As you'll see this is what it's going to uh, start off as. Now you select donation goal widget. You want to come here and copy this link. Come back to OBS where it says URL. Paste that link in and now just select OK. As you'll see our donation goal is now in place. We can position this down. Maybe put it at the bottom here. And there we go. So as you can see, it's just 29 days to go. Of course, uh, you would be fixing it after in that setting. So if I come back to the browser and you want to change your donation goal, you can come down here and select my donation goal and then you can end it because you need to end it in order to change it because obviously we didn't set it up correct. But of course, you can mess with that yourself. And if you come over to donation goal in the stream widgets again, as you can see, we have settings and we can have a uh, literally choose what we want it to look like. So I'm just going to mess with it a bit, uh, have the background colour the same which is uh, no background. The text colour, as you can see we did start to have a problem with it when we moved it up because it's on a white background. So you do need to be, be aware of that as well. And the bar colour, completely up to you. So yeah, you can also choose the bar thickness and the font and then of course just save the settings and everything will be done. Just like that as you can see. And again, when you are doing this in sources, make sure the donation goal is at the top. This way it's going to be able to be seen. So what I actually have, I have donation goal and donation alert being displayed at the same time. Donation alerts up here, donation goal is down here. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you and like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.